In a deadly shooting investigation, a man is shot and killed in Leesburg near schools. The gunman's family claims it was self-defense, but the other family claims this was murder. News 6 is Nadine Giannis spoke with both families today and police. She joins us now live from the corner of Moss Street and Main Street. And Nadine, both sides are giving very different stories. Well, Lisa, it's important to note that the shooter has been released from custody. We spoke to that shooter's mother today, and she says that she saw the whole thing happen from the porch, that it never should have escalated to a man dying, but she says her son shot in self-defense. This while we spoke to the man who died sister. She believes her brother was killed senselessly. Now it's up to police to get to the bottom of it. I'll do anything for my brother. He's tatted on me. I'm my brother's keeper. With her brother's name on one arm and the saying, my brother's keeper on the other. This afternoon, Jasmine Boston wishes she could have seen her brother alive one last time today. She says 28-year-old Kevin Williams was shot and killed in Leesburg this morning. All of them were saying he got shot in the head, and I'm saying to myself, it, 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 that's not my brother. He couldn't have did nothing to nobody. I know my brother. This sister claiming murder while the shooter's mom is claiming self-defense. My son's son should not be in jail for protecting his family. No, he should. Denise Sanders says she witnessed the shooting, saying it started when Williams pulled up in this black SUV and onto her property and began arguing with her son. But it's just bad and sad that this had to happen like this because I asked that young man to leave three times. She said her son thought he was reaching for something and then shot him two times. When he did like this, that sort of like made my son like he was going to grab something because we didn't know what he was going to do. How am my brother being aggressive? He don't even have a gun. My brother, the type, he would talk with you with his hands. He would tell you, he'd be like, hey, what's going on? Tonight, Leesburg police confirmed the man who was killed did not have a weapon on him. And though that shooter has been released from custody today, it was after a lengthy conversation with the state attorney who made that decision. But Leesburg police say that doesn't mean charges will not be coming. Lisa, this investigation is still very much ongoing here in Leesburg tonight. Back to you. Nadine Giannis reporting live for us. Thank you.